All right, now we're trying to find the pH of a strong base. Once again, we should be able to recognize KOH as a strong base. Really, a lot of any of these alkaline metals with OH um, are usually going to be strong bases, meaning, again, it's all going to break apart. So KOH in the solution is going to break down into K plus and OH minus. This is an Arrhenius base. So 0 0.050, if I want to write this out, if I start with zero of the other two, all of it breaks down, all 0 0.050 which increases my K plus by 0.050 molar and my OH minus by that amount as well. Again, I don't really care as much about the K plus. It's not going to affect my pH. What is going to affect my pH is my OH minus concentration. So there are a few avenues I can take from here. What I would probably do is calculate the pOH of this solution, which we get by taking the negative log of our OH concentration, 0.050, so if I do that, the log of 0 0.050 and the pOH ends up being 1.3. But that's not my final answer. I'm looking for the pH. Now if you remember, pOH plus pH is always equal to 14, at least under normal conditions. So if the pOH is 1.3, then subtracting that from 14, the pH must be uh, 12. Seven. And so that is the pH for this a strong base. And since it's a strong base, we know it should be over 7. It's a base. So for whatever reason, we thought the answer was 1.3. That should point us that it's wrong. A base is not going to have an uh, acidic pH. Anyway, so that is pretty much how you find the pH of a strong base. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.